Hey guys, Jay Miller here. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm here with Maggie and Kyle's litter, just doing another litter update. I do appreciate you guys t tuning in for us. Um, really do appreciate you guys just following along with this litter. They're super beautiful, super fun to be around. Their personalities are just starting to come out. And uh, I'm gonna be going through each one, uh, just talking about the markings and how they're coming along. They're super healthy, uh, doing extremely well. And uh, we're starting, you can hear one of them um, sharing his personality. So um, yeah, I'll just start off with one of the boys here. Um, he's medium sized. He does have an extended white stripe. We haven't named the guys yet, by the way. Um, we'll probably wait until next week to do that. Um, nice white socks, nice tan, uh, tan on the side here with a little bit of white showing through. Um, kind of got, got that tuxedo look going on. Um, really, really nice guy here. Uh, you can see the tan as well coming down um, on the back legs and does have a white tip um, on his tail. Gonna be moving on to the next guy here. A little bit bigger. Um, is this guy? He's just on the on the little bit larger side of things. He's uh, does have a little bit less white on his right paw, but his left and hind paws have some really nice white. It kind of gives him a nice, unique look um, and a beautiful white stripe coming up. Um, it does stop right on top of the head, and it doesn't extend to the back side uh, in the Swiss Kiss area. Um, nice tan eyebrows, nice uh, tan on the side of the cheeks and just a beautiful um, guy overall. Really sweet, sweet little little guys here. Gonna be moving on. You good there, buddy? Moving on here, we have one of the few girls. Um, I, I believe she was one of the larger, or the larger one of the two, but um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, she's super nice, a little bit more chilled out so far. Um, nice white stripe. Hey buddy. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> um, he, he or she does actually look very similar to him. Her stripe uh, does stop on top of the head and nothing on the back side where the Swiss kiss would be and also has that tuxedo look. It might be kind of hard to tell right now. Um, she does have matching socks on the front and the back. Um, and nice tan extending down low with a little bit of white on the tip of her tail. Good boy, good boy. Moving on to the guys, they're enjoying the cool cement here. Um, just a little bit cooler. Um, they might be getting a little bit warm and trying to cool off and take a nap, so. Um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, moving on to another boy. Um, he's definitely one of the bigger ones. He's just uh, a big dude. Very nice stripe across the face. He doesn't have an extended stripe as well. Um, just beautiful overall. He does have, <laughs> hey buddy, it's okay. Um, nice matching socks, maybe a little bit more white on the paws and nice tans extending down uh, front and back with a nice white tip on his tail. Right buddy? It's okay. Who wants to be next? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> uh, this is another boy. Um, very nice white stripe, of course. It does have a little bit of a, a, bit of a swirl to it at the top end. Um, really gives a nice, cool, unique look here. Um, really beautiful little guy, white socks on each, each paw and tan extending down towards the bottom, including that tan on the side of his cheek, um, cheek area and no uh, Swiss kiss on top. Um, he's probably medium sized here. Um, compared you can see him here compared to his brother um, right here this is the big guy he's right in between you know everyone else hey it's okay moving on here we have another guy um, he does have a little bit shorter white markings on his paws uh, but more tan on his paws as well or on his leg area extending down onto the paw onto the top of the paw um, nice white <laughs> nice white tail tip um, and a nice white stripe up, up top, maybe thinning out over the top area. Um, just beautiful overall. 
um, and the tuxedo look, of course. And again, if you're curious about the nose, um, if it's gonna be black, that is something we do expect them to be. Um, normally they black out um, for Bernice. It, it typically happens around eight to 10, 12-ish weeks. Um, it can vary a little bit, but for the most part, uh, they should black out towards the adoption date. Um, and this little guy actually already has his black nose, so uh, look at that. Anyway, um, actually this is a girl. Uh, this is the other girl. So um, I'd honestly say they're pretty similar size-wise. Um, there's not much difference in size between the two. Um, both very chilled out or a little bit more so. Uh, nice white stripes, um, nice white tan eyebrow, or nice tan eyebrows, sorry. Um, nice tan across the cheek area, and she does have a little bit of the Swiss kiss, uh, but it should probably, uh, it, it'll probably fade out, um, which is completely normal. Also, the white tip on the tail area and tan extending down the legs, uh, just super nice overall, very beautiful little girl. Alrighty, what's up little guy, what's up? Next up, he's one of the smaller guys, um, probably leaning towards the small side or smaller side. Um, <laughs> nice white um, socks on his uh, paw area. The left might be a little bit shorter compared to the right, uh, which does give that unique look. Um, just beautiful overall tan stretching down the leg area and does have that, that nice white stripe across the face or through between the eyes, um, the traditional Bernice look, um, including that tuxedo look as well with the chest area. Um, their personalities are just starting to come out. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, kind of hard to keep them apart at this point. Um, we haven't named them yet, so it'll probably we'll probably name and take individual pictures next week. So uh, you should be seeing those and I'll be sending pictures over to the people that do have litter uh, reservations on this litter um, just to keep you posted overall. Um, anyway, moving on to this little guy. Um, he does have a little bit more of a thin stripe across the face or between the eyes. Um, nice tan eyebrows and he does have a unique look on the right hand side. You can see there that tan does extend um, up towards the nose area. Hey buddy, it's okay. Um, and that white kind of drops down on the right hand side. He also has a little bit more tan on his legs um, and has white tips uh, more so compared to uh, a white sock. Um, the, the hind legs have a little bit more white to them but they also have that nice tan extending down to the bottom area. Um, also has that um, tuxedo look here in the front area. And then I believe there's one hiding right behind me here. Yeah, so we have another guy here. Um, he looks a little bit different. Um, you can see the back of his head does have that extended stripe. Um, it does reach over top and it might fade a little bit and give a little bit of space in between the, the top or the face stripe. Um, and then it might disconnect over top, but super unique, super cool. Um, he does have that uh, tan on the side of his cheeks, um, very nice tan points on his eyebrows area, eyebrow area -ish. Um, and tan extending down to the legs with um, nice white socks as well. So he does have that white tip too, um, and just uh, overall very nice, very beautiful here and that was it I believe. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll just move a little bit you'll be able to see the pile of, pile of little guys here. Um, they're all super super fun um, a little bit more relaxed at this point still um, but they're definitely starting to get a little bit more energetic by the day. Um, you'll see more and more temperament um, come out here as we uh, move along with these litter updates and um, just kind of keep you posted on temp temperament and that sort of thing. I, we are planning on um, scheduling a pick day and I want to make sure on my dates here, um, it would be the 26th on a Saturday and we'd want to plan to do that between 10 and 12 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, just to, and let me know um, if it doesn't work out for you guys, but um, that'll kind of be 
be good for us and it'll be um, normally works out pretty well with everyone um, wherever you guys may be so uh, don't hesitate and reach out uh, shoot me a text or call if it doesn't happen to work out and we can certainly uh, kind of work around your schedule and, and see if we can possibly narrow it down to one or two and uh, maybe do a FaceTime call or something in that time frame so but I do appreciate you guys joining in uh, tuning in here today and we do really do appreciate everything um, everyone's done for us hopefully um, we'll have these puppies individually pictured and um, ready to head out here and hopefully have you some really beautiful little Bernice um, here in the future so thanks for tuning in. Again, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, my number is 330-621-3917. Much appreciated and take care, guys.